All right, let's try this again. The lazy way to make buttercream roses. Uh, I learned this method over 20 years ago. Um, I call it the lazy way because all of the YouTube videos that I've watched in recent years on how to make buttercream roses have a lot more steps to them than what I was taught. So if you are one that is struggling to learn to make buttercream roses, maybe my lazy way may be just the trick for you. Um, you want to start with your rose nail. I have attached a, a piece of parchment paper to my rose nail for the sake of keeping my roses because I want to freeze them. And you can freeze buttercream roses for up to a month. And I want to um, freeze mine for an upcoming Mother's Day cake. Um, so I'm using tip 104. Whether or not you use a coupler in your bag is up to you. I'm just doing a tutorial so I didn't feel the need to, to put a coupler in there. So I just dropped the tip straight in the bag. So the first thing you want to do is build your foundation. I watched one video that they uh, do like three combs on top of each other to build a, a foundation. How I do it is I just kind of just squeeze and come up like that. Can you see that? All right. So now... Uh, another thing that I notice is different than, um, how I make roses is everyone seems to be, you want to start with the fat tip pointed down in whichever method you use. That's, that's still the way to go. You also want, if you, if you are a fresh, fresh beginner, you want to get into the habit of just twirling your rose nail just to get a feel for it because in my particular particular method there's a lot of twirling involved and um when I was first taught this method that's exactly what uh the lady who taught me had me do is just get into the feel of doing this all the time okay so now that we got our foundation piped um we're gonna pipe the center of the rose. Now, another thing that I notice is different is I pipe my petals towards myself. Um, I notice that uh, most people pipe away from themselves. And I have not been able to teach myself to do that to save my life. And I noticed, I noticed that I was doing it different some years ago. And I tried and I tried and I tried and I just cannot unlearn what I first learned which is to pipe my petals towards myself so I'm going to show you what I do maybe this might help you so here's our foundation starting at the top we're going to start to squeeze and turn and that will create the center okay now, I will admit that that is a bit more open than I would like it. Maybe we should do it again because I don't, I don't, I don't generally like mine to be that open. So let, let's start over. Let's start over. All right, let's start over. No, no harm in starting over. So we're gonna do this foundation again, and then I'm going to come up and over. Okay, so that's a little bit better. All right, so now I want to start making my petals. Okay, so again with the um, and I'm just cleaning off my my tip because you don't want excess uh, frosting on there. So now again with the fat the fat uh, opening pointed down, I'm just going to pipe and turn one petal two petals, and three, okay? See where we're at so far? Now, the next layer, what you wanna do is, I kept, I kept this pretty vertical as I was doing that, but now I wanna just kinda tilt my hand a little bit so I can begin to fan these petals out a little bit. 
uh, just a little bit and, and we'll do it more and more as we go. So now just a little bit more and I'm angling my wrist. Two, three, four, and five. See where we're at? Can you see that? All right. So now I'm going to angle out a little bit more. One, two, three, four, and five. See that? See that? See, and, and they do, and they do turn out. I, I've noticed that these roses do turn out just a little bit different. Sometimes I've actually called them little cabbages, but I mean, I think that they're cute. They're cute, you know. And then I just kind of look and see where I need to add anything else. And I just go in and just kind of fill in the gaps like that. See that? And then I'm going to pull this off and put into my my little container. And uh, you can save those for later. Okay. So one more time. I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm going to do it without talking. I'm going to concentrate this time so that uh, I can get my center uh, petal more closed than that one. I know I, I, we can do better than this. So let, let's, here we go. Let's going to build our foundation. We're going to pipe the center and then we're going to go straight into the petals. So here we go. Also, it's good to build a nice tall foundation so that you have the surface to create all those layers of petals. Okay. We're getting there. All right. I keep it going. Uh, you know what? And I just thought of I could show you one more. And here's our rose. I think it's cute. What you think? I think I think it's cute. You know, it, it, it is definitely a different type of rose than what I normally see on the internet, but it's what I learned 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago now. So I'm going to just slide this off and put this into my container. I just thought of one more little variation to this that I can show you real quick. One more rose. And then after this, I'm going to go into, um, I got a different way of making a pansy. And, and this same method of making a pansy can be used to make a daffodil. And I want to show, I want to show you that. So, um, uh, let me get my little paper here, and uh, I hope I hope it comes out how I envision it. Cause this is my first time actually doing some kind of a tutorial on buttercream roses. Okay, so here's my foundation. See how I'm twirling as I pipe my center. We're gonna go around that and do the middle of the flower. Now we're starting to make our petals. Now this is the variation. Short, short strokes will give you more petals. I just thought about that. I hadn't done that in a while. Then we really get fancy at the bottom. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See that? Just a little bit fancier. A little bit, a little bit. Let's see how it's fanned out. Can you see that? Bring it back, bring it back. All right. All right, so those are our roses. Let me get a little more ice in my bag and we'll go right into the pansy. Now, the pansy that I make is also on the 
flower nail. And a, lo a lot of people um, make them directly onto the cake, which is a great way to do it. But I, I can't do it for some reason. I have to, I have to do mines on on the flower na nail. But again, like I said, that that was how I was taught, and I was taught this so long ago. I can't seem to unlearn it, and I've tried. I've tried. It's just not working for me. So. I, you know, that's why I decided to do the tutorial because maybe it could help somebody else that's struggling. Okay, so again, with the pansy, we want to build up a foundation, except for this foundation is a little bit different. Um, if you could imagine about the size of a nickel. So, around in a circle. And you still want to build it up some because you still need a, uh, you know, surface area. And then holding the tip flat, okay. I'm going and and with the fat end uh, closest to you, and get ready to twirl. We're just going to um, pipe in a circle all around this foundation towards the uh, middle of it, okay. Cause you don't you don't need it to be too too tall. Not this. This is because it's considered a flat flower. Okay, so you see that. So so that's that. That's the um. Now we're gonna do the petals. Okay, so around this circle, you're going to create your petals for your pansy, and again, still holding this flat, still with the fat uh end closest to you. You're gonna kind of just make make your petal like this like watch this and twirl twirling is very very important with this one so one two three four five and six and you see that you see that and then you want to make a center um normally i would do this in yellow but my yellow wasn't open and I didn't want to open it. Uh, I wasn't ready to open it. I just figured I'd just use a color that I already had open. So then you just make the center like that. See that? And you would do this just like you would any other. Um, if you were adding this to a cake, you could, you know, take your scissors and plop it directly on your cake or you can put it on a wax paper and put it in the freezer and it's easier to handle that way uh it, but if you need it right away you could just put it right directly on the cake with a pair of scissors okay so so that's the pansy we'll do that one more time and then i'll go into the daffodil oh i need another piece of parchment paper all right so i'm making the foundation making my circle like that uh, I have to stop every periodically and clean off the tip of my um of my rose tip because you don't want a bunch of excess icing on that and now we're going to make the petals so see can I get y'all closer here Okay, so see our petals, and then we'll take. I I don't have a tip in my bag doing this because I didn't I didn't need to dirty up a tip just for this. But if you want to use a tip, just use like a number one, or you know, or two, just for this little part. See that? All right, all right, so. Last flower, last flower will be, it's the pansy. Uh, the other version of this is a daffodil. Little bit tricky, but the only tricky thing about it is to just make sure your foundation is good, which, you know, I'm going over that and going over that. Oh. Let me get a piece of paper here. I keep forgetting that. 
All right. So, again, the nickel foundation, as I call it, just like that. We're going to pipe our flat circle around like that. Clean off your rose tip and start your petals the same way you would your, your pansy. Just like that. All right, so, you, so, so you've seen this before. Now, the only difference is, and, and it's important to clean off your tip before you do this next part, is now we're going to hold the rose tip up. And with the fat part facing down, we're going to pipe in the center of this. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. It would be the center of the daffodil. Almost like the center of the rose, but instead of wanting it to be closed, you want this to be open and as open as you can get it, if that makes sense. So let, let me just, just, just let me show you. Okay. Got a twirl, 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 twirl. Like that, you see that? See that and then you can accentuate the top of that again I normally would do this with some yellow or white white works too but I don't have that right now I'm just gonna go around the top twirl 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 like that see that isn't that cute and you can put this directly on the cake and you can do these all colors <laughs> yellow is best so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one more time. Let's see, can I? The lazy way. It's it's uh it's it's. And I called it the lazy way because we're really just using one tip and minimizing the steps. So if you are a person that wants to get into selling cakes and you have cake after cake after cake and you don't want to create a whole lot of bags this this may can help you okay it's got the got our foundation set we're going to do our petals like that and now we're going to pipe in the center nice and open like that See that? And then we will accentuate the top of it. Twirl, 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 twirl. Just like that. And that's my lazy way of making roses, pansy, and daffodil. Thanks for watching.